There is nothing worse than having a bunch of filler in your collection, at least for us. So what we are planning to do is completely go through this entire game room, comb through every game, and decide is it worth keeping in our collection? Or is it just taking up space for better games? So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's go. Don't go too far. Are you wearing your glasses? Oh, fuck. No, I guess not. So I just think with the ring light. I have to wear them play. though later when we're looking at games if you want me to see anything. <laughs> no, you don't need to see anything else. <laughs> no, I either. do need to see everything because <laughs> I don't freaking well trust you. Holy shit, after 22 years. You're trying to get, yes, you're trying to get rid of all the games. I not know. all the games. <laughs> so we had just started setting up for this video and already I was not excited. I had been procrastinating four months not to make this. And just looking around and refusing to see the situation around me, which was we had run out of space. I was piling games on top of games and just completely oblivious. But I couldn't continue to make excuses. We had to go through these games and Scott was not willing to take no for an answer today. So this is, I guess this is what we're doing. He's gonna make us purge some games today. Just the filler, just the filler. But that's the thing. I don't know what your definition of well, filler that's... is, and I might think that's a great game, and filler. Well, then we get to argue about it. Then we get to argue about it. So I know what you're thinking. I'm a woman, I have ultimate veto power. Well, this relationship wouldn't have survived 22 years if that was my mentality. We're gonna go through these games as a team, but every good team has some rules. Are there any untouchables? We've talked about this a little bit. Untouchables in general for me are RPGs, beat em ups. Yes. Survival horror. Survival Don't horror. even talk about them. Two player co op games. Two player co op games. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because we know we'll get use out of those in the yes. future and we'll always enjoy them. Any certain like console like like PS4 or that PS4 any, is, is going to be it's going to be nope. hard for me because I know that shelf is getting full and that's one of the shelves you're like well that's almost full Jen and it's so true. So we only have so much shelf space and I looked at Jen last night and I said if you can figure out where I could put another set of shelves in this room you can keep all your well, games. We'll do a full <laughs> pan around the room <laughs> clip no, right here and there no is space. no room for shelves unless we want to start going behind the bar and making mm. shelves there and no I spilly drinkers and yeah. all that stuff and we got like 1500 huh. games I think There's, it's closer to 16 you it, might be thinking 1600 games that's not very many games but I would think the majority of people saying 1600 games how the hell do you fit that in one room and uh, we've been quite inventive on how we do it so that it looks nice but we've outgrown the space and I always had a goal in mind that I never wanted more than 1500 because that's how I designed the room. I think 1500 games will fit in the room nicely. So we're gonna have to get rid of some filler. Guys, if this would have happened a year and a half ago, I wasn't as invested. I was enjoying the YouTube channel. I was enjoying the creative side of it. I was enjoying the, playing the games I played, but mostly those were like, oh, you should play this game. And I was like, okay, I'll play that game. Now I really have my own kind of voice as a gamer and I am attached, attached to these games. I, I went from being a passive gamer kind of on this channel to like really invested in it and the idea of getting rid of games bothers me. It bothers but me. But like how many ways do you need to play I one know, certain game? I know and I don't even want to hear that because I knew that was coming up. We have filler games that are across, you know, I like he's consoles. like how many times do you need Uncharted and I was like all the fucking times <laughs> all the times is so, that like a series that's untouchable? I love I don't know we'll Me have to look know. through them yep. I, I had that same thought in my head with God of War like how many ways do I need to play God of War but you have yeah. Skies of Arcadia over there and if you could get Once. but <laughs> if you could get the GameCube one too no I add it to the collection that's what I'm saying I'm not even joking, like this is not for the cameras. I've, he's been stressing me out with this idea and I, I got him. <laughs> Boop. Oh, look at all that makeup. Shut up. It worked out so we didn't have to do it on his last vacation because there was too much to do. In this vacation, nothing to do. But so, you know what? Gonna... All that filler that we're taking out, we're, we're trading it. Yeah, we're gonna get something Trade good. It, hopefully sell it, do you know something. And yeah. There are, um, there are tons of games I still wanna add to the collection. 
It's, this is not, I'm done collecting. I'm not no. done collecting. I'm just out of room. That's, We're out of room. Yeah. We're out of room until we can really root move into that retro room and even then i don't know how many games you really want to move in there just retro like yeah. cartridge based stuff. Yeah. yeah yeah okay well here we where go. do you all right where do you want to start is nowhere an option before we go go we get up there <laughs> i think this back wall is almost untouched is almost, almost untouchable so that's the easiest no. place to start yeah there there's a couple that can come off because i'm like eh. okay yeah so we'll start on the back wall yep. and uh, we'll see. We'll ding, 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 ding. Let's fight. Ring girl and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Where is she? She's me. Oh. That's what you get oh. when you're married. Is that why you get all sparkly makeup on? That's why I got it on. I got a bikini on underneath this. Ooh. I'll show you later. Okay. All right, guys, it's time. We're going to go through this game room, but because I don't want you to sit through five hours of footage, yes, that's how long it took us to go through the game room. Five, insert curse word here, hours. So we're gonna speed this up and uh, choose some highlights and show you what we actually got rid of. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the Game Room Purge, sanctioned by Scott and Scott alone. Word weapons of four-letter class and lower have been authorized for use during the Game Room Purge. Slapping and name-calling are strictly prohibited for the husband. RPG, beat-em-ups, survival horror, and couch co-op have been given immunity from the Game Room Purge and shall not be touched. Commencing at the groan and mumbled curse words of the wife, purging of all other non-specified games will be accepted for five continuous painstaking bullshit hours. Calling one's mother and complaining about the husband will be unavailable until later this afternoon when the Game Room Purge concludes. Blessed be our newfounded shelf space and unburdened shoulders a game room reborn. May beer be with you all. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, hey. What's up? I'm playing a game. No! No! We're not doing it right now? I told you guys that was a three-part series. I said it right in the thumbnail. I even put it in the video in another spot. No! Come back in a few days. I'll have the second, I'll have the second piece out then. I'm, I'm playing a game. Go. I'll see you in a bit. I'm sorry. Just you just got to be patient, okay? I I still love you. All right. Cool. Bye. <laughs>